Hello everyone, it is Moon Moth Goddess. Thank you guys so much for being here and your continued love and support here on the channel. Um, so those of you that are not aware, I do have a second YouTube tarot channel for those of you that missed the announcement on Halloween day um, that you might want to check out. That channel is more so focused on uh, the self. So, you know, healing, uh, messages from ancestors, spiritual gifts, your spiritual path, your journey, uh, you know, karmic family situations, career and finances, so everything that has having to do with the self to helping you to grow and evolve along your path um, is what we have focused on over there. So you want to check it out if that is something that you are interested in. Um, the name of my second tarot channel is Neptune's Child Tarot. Um, we did have a little bit of a, or I did have a little bit of an incident. Um, I think it was over the weekend. Um, there was a scammer on Instagram that copied all of my pictures, um, and started reaching out to people on my, uh, my followers on, on Instagram. And they started reaching out to them, offering private readings and, uh, through WhatsApp. And then I think with one of the people that told me, Hey, you know, this person is impersonating you, um, asking for money and stuff like that. So just always keep in mind, I will never, ever <laughs> reach out to you to, to offer a reading to you. I feel like the big red flag that you guys should also know is that because of the following that I do have on YouTube, it is very rare, um, that I will, have availability to do a reading for you quick. And that is a big red flag right there. If somebody is telling you, Hey, send me some money. I'll do you. I'll give you a reading. I don't, my readings are booked out. <laughs> my readings are booked out months in advance. Um, at least at the very least eight weeks. So that should send a red flag right there. If somebody is offering a reading services to you, um, through social media, I will never do that. Not on Instagram, not on Facebook. And, <clears throat> certainly not here on YouTube in the comments. So just be mindful of that for those of you that um, it, is a, it is a big problem and it is something that is widespread affecting many people, many businesses um, on YouTube, on Instagram, um, that there are scammers that are out there that trying to take money from you all. So just be aware. I will never, never do that. Okay. So just report them, block them, um, whatever it is need. Yes, I do understand it is annoying sometimes when you guys get those messages from scammers, but I am also annoyed. <laughs> I am also annoyed because I have to deal with it every single day, every video that I post. It's, it's, it's a problem. Okay. So back to today's reading, uh, we are focusing on why won't they fully commit to this connection? So the person that you do have in mind, okay, your your specific love interest, why won't they fully commit to this connection? Okay, so just keep in mind, because it is a general reading, not all of the messages may resonate for you specifically, you're more than welcome to reach out to me for a personal reading. But as I did say, my readings are booked out at least eight weeks, we're at looking at like mid January right now, um, for readings. So I appreciate you guys for your patience with that as well. So with the reading today, of course, we're asking a question that may, you know, I am the type of reader who's going to be very direct, very straight out to really give you the guidance that you need to be able to help you to see a situation clearly. Um, the messages that may come through, of course, because of the context of our question of why they won't fully commit to this, right? Some of you may be in situations where the person has told you directly, I don't want to be in a relationship you know, or I'm focusing on myself right now. Or for some of you, it could be that this person has kind of kept you in the dark and they haven't given you any reason why. And they may be kind of hot and cold with you and there's no direct, clear direction for you with that, right? So why won't they fully commit to this connection? It may be a little bit of a sensitive topic for some of you that are feeling extremely emotional and a little bit not your best self. You may want to come back to this reading at a later time, okay? So pile number one, um, this is going to be a Rider weight. I think it's called the Sketch, Rider weight Sketch Tarot. I did pick this up on Etsy. Um, and this one is going to be with this polychrome jasper here, which is kind of like a mauve color, like a purpley gray mauve-ish color for pile number one. 
Pile number two, you are going to be the uh, Crow Tarot. And that is with this Polychrome Jasper, which is more of a deep, like a plum color for pile number two. And then pile number three, you are going to be Orion's Animal Tarot. And that is with this Polychrome Jasper here. For pile number three. Okay, so with this reading, I would say try to stick with one pile, okay, because the energy may be very different in a pile. So choosing more than one maybe with this reading might be confusing for you. Like if you're saying, why is this response over here like this? And then the other one says this, and now I'm confused. So try to really choose based off of what your gut feeling is, your intuition, um, and just remember, it is a general reading. It's not a private reading. So pile number one. Pile two, pile three, timestamps will be down below and I will see you guys at your reading. Hi, pile one. So for those of you that resonated with this crystal here and the Rider Waite uh, sketch, I feel like Rider Waite sketch tarot, this is going to be a reading. And I will have the link for this uh, down below. I did purchase it on Etsy. Okay. So pile number one we're finding out today why won't they fully commit to this connection okay and then we'll also be getting some guidance from spirit with what you should do if it's if it's worth your time should you move on uh you know let's see so pile number one why won't your person of interest the person on your mind why won't they fully commit to this connection why won't they fully commit to this connection, pile one? We have the king of pentacles. Why won't they fully commit, pile one? Six of swords. Okay, so we have the page of wands. We also have the fool. And I feel like I'm going to put them like this makes sense to me when I'm reading it. Okay. So why won't they fully commit to this connection? We also have the Empress. Oh, and then we got, look at that, Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Pentacles in the upright here. Okay. Let's see. Please fit. Let's try to get this in here. Okay, so on bottom of the deck, I am seeing the uh, Nine of Wands. So I'm going to put this over here. And I do want to pull your Oracle cards now, too, because I want to kind of see this as a whole kind of picture here. But what I can already see right now is that with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, with the King of Pentacles, this person may feel that the two of you may not necessarily be in alignment with one another. What you both want for the future may not be the same, okay? So they may feel that they are deciding to move on or let go of this connection. Um, let's see here. So pile one, why, why won't this person fully commit to this connection? I'm also feeling like this need for freedom, okay, with the full energy. And we have partying here. Let's see, why won't they fully commit to this connection? I'm also getting someone who is super focused on their career, uh, other things within their life here. We have engagement ring. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We also have silence here. We also have trust issues. Why won't they fully commit? We have hard to let go. And then we have unaffectionate. 
I am seeing a little guarded energy here too with this nine of wands. This is from wounds from this person's past. They may have some challenges or difficulties with really kind of opening themselves up to be vulnerable, right? Um, have a hard time, difficulty <clears throat> with expressing their feelings, uh, their emotions here. Okay. So yeah, to me, I, I feel like with the Empress energy here, and even though the Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse, I feel like this person does see that there is, there, I almost feel like there is potential, like you being someone who gives off a very nurturing, very loving energy, um, and someone who is looking for commitment, like you could be someone who's looking for your future spouse, right? And you may see that within this person. But I feel like this person may kind of feel that even with that, they still feel this need for opening themselves up or keeping themselves open, maybe and single or they're with the Six of Swords energy here, they can even be kind of going through a, a transition in their life right now. Now, this will only be for very few of you, but I'm seeing that there is a third party situation here. Okay, where this person may literally be someone who is married to someone else or uh, going through a divorce or separation. Um, and so they may feel that coming out of this relationship, this other partnership here, they may not feel completely comfortable with jumping into something else right away. So they may feel like they're not ready to really nurture the connection, a long term commitment in the way that you may be wanting them to right now. Okay, um, what else am I seeing here? The Page of Wands is also this energy of discovery and excitement and exploring and passions um, that is kind of leading them right now. And I feel like because you do have partying here, it says time with friends, having fun, happily single, and living in the moment. Okay, and then we also have the engagement ring, which says higher commitment, eternity, partnership, and union, and completion. So some of you, this person may even have some difficulties with talking about commitment, right? We have trust issues here. Some of you may even be in a no contact situation, right? We do have hard to let go. So this almost makes me feel is there's something from this person's past that they are having a difficult time with letting go of, you know, I may want to kind of clarify that a little bit further. I'm also feeling for some of you, this person, like I said, could be super focused on their career manifestation. Uh, you know, their career finances, things of that nature. And it could be that they just feel like they need, I feel it definitely free spirit energy with the fool. Okay. Like they just feel this need to just be open um, and disco discover, explore. Uh, the page of wands is about starting down a new path, a new journey. And maybe they are someone with the Empress energy who is working on fertility, growth, uh, manifestation, because the Empress is basically all about abundance, all about prosperity, all about um, creation, right? And they can be at this time in their life right now with that page of wands where they're following what their creative energy, spiritual energy is really kind of leading them towards um, at this time. So I'm just kind of feeling like they see you as somebody, you know, that they can have a long-term committed partnership with, but maybe they just kind of feel like it's not the right time right now. Like I said, I kind of feel... Like this person is someone who have a difficult time with expressing feelings and emotions. And I'm noting that noticing that in this unaffectionate card out of the place here of the collar and also the, the edges of the, the suit, there's water that's coming out here, right? So maybe it's like this person has like I said, challenges or difficulties with opening up and expressing their heart, their feelings, their emotions. Um, they could be someone who also feels like they need healing, right? Nurturing themselves, focusing on themselves at this time. The Six of Swords is about moving away or moving on from something that may have been <clears throat> really challenging or very difficult. Okay. So I want to clarify this energy just a little bit, but let's see here. Let's look at what, what are the um, trust issues here for pile number one's person. What are the trust issues involving for pile number one's person of interest? Mm. 
we have the devil. Okay. So the devil energy <coughs> can be something super toxic that this person may have gone through. Um, the devil energy can also talk about temptation and desire and lust and things of that nature, infidelity, third party, cheating. Um, so this person could also fear, right? The devil is also a very restrictive energy. It makes us feel stuck and bound, you know, in something. So this person can also legitimately feel like they are going to get stuck in something that is going to end up toxic or where they feel like the, the connection is going to be something that is too restrictive for them. Okay. So I want to look at the energy surrounding this engagement ring, which is the commitment. What is the energy surrounding this engagement ring? Page of Pentacles. Okay. So yeah, I feel like with the Page of Pentacles energy here, it's like this person is someone maybe necessarily putting in like bare minimum with the page. Okay, they may feel like they cannot offer more to you, right? They're not able to offer you what the King of Pentacles would, which would be like, here's the offer from the King of Pentacles, <laughs> right? The King of Pentacles wants to give you everything. He wants to give you, you know, the, the security, the stability, um, the long-term committed partnership, uh, loyalty, you know, things, you know, trust. That is something that's very important to connection where the page is going to give you this, right? So it's like the person, the page is not ready to give that level of commitment, right? That a king would, if the two of you were kind of like in balance with that, right? So just kind of to put things into perspective, the difference between that level of commitment and not to say that the page, you know, can, cannot get there, right? Because this is, we're starting off small, right? We're starting something new with, with the page. Um, so it's just kind of making me feel like your person is not feeling the most comfortable because there are trust issues, right? This person having, I feel like, difficulty expressing feelings and emotions. They may also be with the Queen and King of Pentacles here out of balance themselves. Okay, out of balance. And so they may be just kind of feeling this need to really work towards, I feel like a lot of the healing here, definitely very guarded energy. The Nine of Wands is also talking about uncharted territory, Right. So for many of you, maybe this whole level of commitment, the idea of engagement, marriage, things of that nature is something that's kind of scary. Like, how do I even navigate through this? And then literally with the partying here, it could be they're just legitimately not ready to settle down, not ready to commit, not ready, not looking for, not ready to put that level of commitment into something like that. Right. So let's look at the hard to let go. Why, what is it hard for pile number one's person hard to let go of? What are they holding on to? Maybe it's something from their past. What is it hard for pile number one's person to let go of? The Knight of Cups. Let's see. We also have the star energy. And just so you guys are aware, I know sometimes you guys leave comments like, why do I have certain images that are covered here? YouTube has a new policy that started back in September of this year that any videos that are being monetized cannot have any racy images, if you want to call it a sensitive imagery. So to keep YouTube rules to comply with them, I have to figure out ways to cover these. I still want to be able to give you readings, but you have to cover that, um, which is something that affects all tarot readers, right? Because we all mostly, we all use the same decks. So here we are. Here we are. Okay. So let's see. Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Hard to let go. <clears throat> now, some of you, and I feel like not all of you are going to be in this situation, but I'm also seeing a situation here in which this is um, maybe even a work situation. 
for some of you, okay? Some of you, like I said, I'm also getting that there's third-party energy here that maybe this person is hard for them to let go. Even the hard to let go can even be about the trust issues that this person has, right? The Three of Pentacles is really about building a solid foundation for something, right? And to me, the star is about having hope, right? Faith, belief, healing also. So the Knight of Cups energy here to me is that this person does have romantic feelings towards you. They do feel this way towards you, but I feel like it's hard for them to let go of maybe the way that they have been kind of handling things I feel like in the past, right? Trust issues is a big thing, right? It's, it's, it takes time to really heal from things like that and to be willing to let go and change your story, right? Write a different story for yourself moving forward. Um... So yeah, the Knight of Cups is very romantic, right? Can be very charming and very much sweep you off your feet. But the Knight of Cups can also be a little bit of a tricky energy too, right? Um, for some of you, it can be like this person felt like they were being something super romantic and it was kind of leading towards building something solid with you. Um, but these issues kind of coming in and, and blocking that too. And like I said, some of you may even be in a place where um, you're not even talking to the person, right? They're not talking about or speaking of, you know, avoiding maybe even a commitment here. Okay. So we do have lots of earth sign energy here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So pile number one, why won't they fully commit to this connection? There may also be something from this person's past, and this will only be for some of you I'm getting, but there's also someone that this person is still holding on to feelings for, okay, for some of you. Um, and they may even be kind of in a place where they're still hold, maybe hold, even holding on to hope that they would be able to reconcile with this third party, okay? That's what I'm getting for some of you as well. So pile number one, why won't they fully commit to this connection we have a mental prison overthinking creating scenarios in their mind um, and also thinking of you a lot right so it's kind of basically they're blocking themselves right why won't they fully commit we have separation here and it says withdrawal or a disconnect relationship breakdown and also tests of love okay so some of you yeah you could be separated from this person at this time um, they could be disconnected from you, right? I feel like for some of you, especially those of you that are separated, like this person, I still feel like holding on to it, right? In a way, trying to move on and trying to move forward here. But I feel like they do have this thought in their mind about uh, reconciling here, but this blockage here, trust. Because the devil energy... <clears throat> can also talk about manipulation, control, toxicity, karmic type of situations, right? So if you were in any kind of way, <clears throat> the two of you had a relationship that involved any of those things, they can also be afraid, right, of opening themselves up to that. Or if they've had a history of that in their past, afraid of going back into a situation like that. <clears throat> so pile one, why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have old school here and it says old fashioned thinking takes dating seriously and also takes things slow. Why won't they fully commit? We have unvalued here and it says taken for granted unequal give and take and not feeling appreciated, right? So it could be that they are feeling this way or that they are not valuing you and the connection. They could be taking you for granted, right? You can have a situation in which one person is wanting to commit, the other person's not, right? So it kind of turns it into like a one-sided situation where you could be the person who's putting all the work in, all the commitment, all the effort, and the other person not doing the same, okay? Okay. So take that however that resonates. Why won't they fully commit to this connection, pile number one? 
we have ghosting here. It says an abrupt ending, no closure, ending all communication, right? So if this person has done something like that to you where they just basically kind of just cut things off, right? This could also be making you feel like this person has taken you for granted. The, the heart, the love, the effort that you've been putting into this. Um, to me, it's also, you know, a person who's handling things really immaturely. Right? Really immature about it. Why won't they fully commit? We have new love here. Okay? And it says there's someone better, a new love interest, and letting go of the exes. Okay? So it can also literally be someone, because we do have the Page of Wands here, the Fool, the Page of Wands, and the Empress. So if you know that maybe your person could potentially be dating someone else, right? Um, someone that they're super attracted to because the page of wands is an energy of excitement, right? So it's almost like this person's energy is directed elsewhere, distracted, okay, in a way. So some of you, it could have been a new love that has kind of come into this person's life and they may have just kind of ended up ghosting, right? They could have a new love interest that they feel super strongly attracted to and choosing to pursue this person rather than they committed partnership with this, right? Um... So yeah, that can be something there as well. Letting go of the exes. Some of you could be an ex-partner to this person. And if you are, it could be that they are, you know, working on letting go of this um, as well. We do have secrets at the bottom and it says a secret love or an admirer moving in silence and more to be revealed, right? So I have a feeling that if this person is someone who's been dating someone else, seeing someone else, interested in someone else, that this is spirit saying that you will find out the truth. Okay, probably sooner than later about this, especially if this person has been avoiding you, ghosting you, blocking you, no contact, that you could find out that this person has been either secretly dating someone else or there's a new love interest that has kind of captured this person's attention and their energy is distracted away from this connection and more onto the other person, right? Um, and I feel like, of course, because this is a general reading, it, you know, it may or may not resonate, right? It may not be a situation that you even encounter, right? Because it's not a private reading, but this is energy that is coming through here. Um, and I feel like if you've already been in your gut feeling, knowing that this person may have someone else, or they may be interested in someone else, trust what your gut is telling you, right? Trust what your gut is telling you. Um, but yeah, this is spirit saying here more to be revealed, right? Maybe this is a secret that they've been keeping a secret love or a secret admirer and not really giving you maybe the proper closure that you've been really, uh, looking for. Okay. So I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number one. Um, if this didn't really resonate, right, you can, you're more than welcome to choose a different pile. But like I said, I want you guys to more so choose the one that you feel is, really what your gut feeling is, um, because tarot should be something that is confirming what your intuition already knows. Okay. It shouldn't be the first time you're hearing it. And if it is, it's probably not your message. Okay. So I'm gonna leave it here. Pile one, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, pile two. So for those of you that resonated with the crow tarot and this little polychrome Jasper here, this is going to be your reading today. And we're looking into why won't they fully commit to this connection? Okay, so do keep in mind that this is a general reading. Not all of the messages may resonate to your situation specifically. Um, also, because it is a general reading, it's not a private reading. Um, the messages that come through, they should be confirming what your intuition is already telling you. Okay, which means that there could be some messages that come through and it could be like the first time that you're hearing it and it doesn't really make sense to you. That's probably not your message, okay? So only take what resonates, what your intuition is confirming for you or this reading as confirmation of what your intuition is already telling you about this person, okay? If you're feeling super sensitive today, you may want to come back to this reading at a later time, okay? Why won't they fully commit to this connection? Pile number two's person. Why won't pile number two's person of interest fully commit to 
through those connections. So we're going to pull your tarot first, and then I'm going to pull your oracle cards to kind of look at the energy as a whole. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? Pile number two. Why won't your person fully commit? We have, what is this? The four of wands in reverse. The four of wands in reverse can be a lack of balance or a lack of harmony. Okay. For some of you, the four of wands can even talk about a breakup that you've had with this person. The six of swords is about moving on. Okay. Moving on, moving forward, moving away from something that was bringing about maybe a difficult energy within our life. We have the two of wands. The two of wands is about being at a crossroads, having to make some type of choice or decision about what path this person is choosing moving forward. We have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Three of Wands. Okay. Yeah, I feel like with the Page of Swords energy here, the Page of Swords is really talking, for some of you, it could be about literally skepticism, this person feeling skeptical. Um... As so also, some of you with the Four of Wands energy here, too, in reverse, it could be that this person feels it's too soon. Okay? Too soon. Um, it could be a fairly new relationship. Let's just say if you guys are just started dating. Right? It could be too soon to commit or what they feel is too soon to commit. So they can be maybe avoiding talking about commitment right now. And they may feel like I'm at a crossroads right now and I do have to make a decision about what I foresee for our future for the two of us. With that three of wands, the three of wands is about projection. It's about planning for the future. And I'm seeing that we do have the eight of swords at the bottom. So this is a lot of negative thinking. Okay. A lot of self-sabotaging thoughts that are keeping this person a little stuck. The page of swords is also, you know, feeling the inability to find the words to really express the self, right? And maybe there, this person isn't you know, brave enough to tell you, hey, you know, I have all of these negative thoughts about being in a relationship or being in a commitment. And I'm not sure how to tell you about these things, right? These can be self sabotaging thoughts, fears, insecurities, blockages that are really kind of making this person difficult for them to trust um, the connection. But some of you, like I said, with that four of ones in reverse, could legitimately be <clears throat> that it is a breakup that you've had with this person. And maybe they're uncertain about whether or not they want to get back together. Okay. Um, yeah, the four of wands in reverse can also be when someone feels like they need to take a step back, reevaluate things, get a fresh look at the situation. Okay. Especially if they kind of felt like maybe a little, a little bit for some of you, a little bit of pressure or stress, like about, uh, committing here, they may have been afraid. Um, of doing that. So let's look at the Oracle here. We do have, what do we have here? Lots of wands and swords. So we've got, um, Scorpio. I'm sorry, not Scorpio. <laughs> Why did I say Scorpio? Maybe there is a Scorpio. Okay. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay. Okay, so pile number two. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? Let's get three of these. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? One more. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? Okay. Let's get three of these. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We've got loner, forbidden. Let's see what we've got. Okay, loner, forbidden. We also have security here. Childish, okay. We have cut down here, cutting out separation, stop the pattern and the silent treatment. Wow, so maybe for some of you, this person just kind of like no contact here. Childish here, forbidden. It almost makes me feel like, okay, 
some of you, it could be a situation in which there is other people involved. And that could be like, um, it could be for some of you, maybe like a forbidden love situation, right? Or maybe other people in, um, surrounding you or even this person could be making them feel that they should just not go there, right? They shouldn't go there. Um, with the fresh start here, chance beginnings and new direction, you know, this person may be kind of focusing elsewhere. With a loner here, it's like this person is choosing to stay single, choosing to be alone, right? Maybe the whole idea of commitment here is something that they feel is not something that they're wanting to move towards. And then with childish here, to me, it's like maybe this person has a, an approach where they're acting very immaturely with the way that they're thinking, the way that they're communicating, communicating with you, or even a lack of communication, right? A lack of communication. We have stopped the pattern here. So this almost makes me feel like, does this person have a tendency to act this way? Or maybe when things get kind of intense, that this person just kind of cuts things off, right? So maybe basically spirit saying here, this person has a very childish way of handling things. They have a pattern, right? A pattern of behavior um, that is kind of keeping them in, in this. I'm, I'm kind of want to see what this uh, four of wands is in reverse. Why is the four of wands in reverse? Three of Swords, okay? Yeah, some of you I am getting like it's a separation, a breakup that you've had with this person and they're really maybe kind of like at a crossroads in their life with this connection. You know, the Three of Swords can talk about some type of pain, suffering, uh, loss, okay? Some of you literally, like I said, break up. Okay, we've got Libra energy with that. I want to see what this Two of Wands is too. We've got the Seven of Swords, okay? So the Seven of Swords can sometimes talk about deception, illusion, avoidance, somebody who's anxious and running away, avoiding the connection, um, rather than giving you a straight answer. Because we do have the Page of Swords here with Childish, it just makes me feel like this person has a really immature way of speaking, communicating, um, the way that they're like their thought process is here with that Eight of Swords. Um, yeah, to me, that is avoidance. Like their, their thoughts are scattered and all over the place with the seven of swords. And we can see that with the eight of swords, right? Um, we have family here for some of you. It could be that this is a forbidden, like I said, a forbidden love situation. Uh, maybe there is family influence here for some of you. And maybe this person feels like giving you the silent treatment, cutting off contact for some of you. Um, choosing to be alone, isolate themselves away from you is where they feel more comfortable because of this eight of swords. And they may be choosing to kind of go into a different direction. Okay. Keeping distance. Some of you, it may literally be that there is, you have a long distance connection. Okay. And that can also be a factor here. So why is the eight of swords here? The queen of wands. Okay. Queen of wands energy. This person may also be like super intimidated by you as well with the Queen of Wands. You could be someone who gives off a very confident, stable, secure energy, very attractive, very passionate energy. This person may also lack the confidence within themselves to pursue the c commitment, okay, is what I'm kind of getting here as well. So it can be that there is this level of intimidation because you may be someone who really has your life together where this person may not be on that same level of maturity as you, right? Level of intimidation there. Or that this person is kind of lacking the confidence, I feel like, within themselves to move beyond those self-sabotaging thoughts. Eight of Cups, okay? Eight of Cups is an energy of withdrawal, detachment, letting something go, moving on from something, deciding to leave something behind. Okay, so let's see what else. Okay, so pile number two. 
why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have a phone call, an expression of interest, wanting to talk, and it says communication is the key. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have love activation here, awakening, heart space opening. <clears throat> we also have twin flame ascension that is mentioned on this card, but all of you that chose this pile may not be in twin flame connections, okay? But this is really, I feel like maybe spirit saying in a way, this person, maybe they are going through a heart awakening, right? Maybe there is a lot of feelings and emotions this person is needing to really deal with because the Eight of Cups is also about setting out on a journey of discovering the self, right? Needing time alone. The Eight of Cups leads into the energy of the hermit. And the hermit is really this energy where we spend time by ourselves in solitude, reflecting on our feelings, our emotions, our self to basically find ourselves. So it could be that this person literally is going through some type of heart chakra healing, um, some type of awakening here. It could be feeling a little bit lost, right? Not really knowing what it is that they truly want at this time. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have heartbreak here, okay? Breakup, suffering and grieving and unable to move on. Okay, so this could have even been with that four of wands in reverse. It could be your breakup that has got them hurt. Um, it could be something from this person's past that they're needing to release here. Okay. Why won't they fully commit to this connection with pile two? We have sacrifice. We also have waiting. Now at the sacrifice, it says sacrifice for love must give up something and a painful decision, right? Are they ready though? to make that sacrifice and they probably might not be right we have waiting here and it says holding on to hope not taking action standstills and delays now those of you where you are legitimately in a situation with a person who had feelings for you and because of family it is a forbidden love situation right they may kind of feel like there's a huge sacrifice that this person has to make and some for sometimes it could mean going against what family wants right, in order to kind of make that happen. So they're here with the two of wands at the crossroads with your relationship in mind, maybe feeling I need to take some time to really think about what it is that I truly want. Right now, I feel like with that seven of swords, it is avoidance, it is scattered thinking, it is maybe even fear, the illusion, right, that that's there, this person not taking any action. They could be needing to communicate with you, right, but we have the silent treatment here. Cutting out, separation, a pattern that this person has. For some of you, it could be that you notice that this person does this repeatedly with you. Right? Why won't they fully commit to this connection with Pal 2? We have the, look at that, forbidden fruit. It says desired but dangerous, not socially acceptable, tempting and alluring. That is that golden apple that's hiding there. Right? So maybe the you are uh, the forbidden fruit for them. Right? For some of you, because we have the three of swords here, the three of swords can sometimes talk about a love triangle situation. Okay, so some of you might even be in that. And especially with us having the security here, to me, this is like the ten of pentacles. Some of you could literally be dealing with someone who you are in legitimately a third party situation. Right? And maybe you are the forbidden fruit to them. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number two, as I said, only take the messages that fit. If it's the first time you're hearing something, it's probably not your message. It can only, should only be confirming what your gut feeling is really telling you. Okay, what you already feel and you know within yourself. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number two, uh, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Hi, pile three. So for those of you that chose this crystal here and the uh, Orion's animal tarot this is going to be a reading and we're looking into why won't they fully commit to this connection so as I told pile one and pile two it is a general reading not a private reading okay so not all the messages may resonate for you specifically take what feels like it fits 
This reading should be giving you confirmation of what your intuition already is telling you. That there's something that you may be hearing for the first time. It may not necessarily be the message that is meant for you. Okay. So why won't they fully commit to this connection? Also, if you're feeling extra sensitive today, you may want to come back to this reading at a little later time. Okay, because of the context of the question. Why won't they fully commit to this connection with pile number three? Why won't pile number three's person fully commit? Wow. I'm going to take these two. But all the rest of these are going to go back. Let's see. Okay, so we've got the four of cups and we also have the double. Why won't they fully commit to this connection with pile number three? We have the king of wands. Why won't they fully commit to the connection with pile number three? The moon. So we do have Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Cancer. We have Strength. Okay, I will say that I am kind of getting this energy from this person that they may have like, I don't want to say bad intentions, like ulterior motives, or if it's even that, I feel like it's, I feel like this person is not really looking for commitment altogether, not looking for it, okay? And I will say this because the King of Wands is a very passionate energy, okay? Very passionate, which means that the intensity of this connection between you and this person could be off the charts, right? With, with what you feel towards them, what they feel towards you. Uh, the Strength energy is also an energy of lust, okay? It, the Strength card is really talking about us having self-control, over those primal desires that we have and learning to kind of calm them, control them, but it is that desire that we have, right? So strength to me is that this person may be someone who there is a lot of infatuation um, with you and also the devil energy can talk about that energy there as well. The devil is about temptation, desire, um, and then we have the moon energy here too. The moon can bring in a lot of uh, subconscious fears, illusions, doubts, deception um, as well. I feel like I want to clarify this, but I'm also seeing the four of cups here, which can talk about boredom, indifference, someone who's feeling discontent. Uh, the four of cups is also rejection, okay, a missed opportunity. Um, so it could be that this person isn't really interested in building a committed partnership with you. They may enjoy, you know, that level of passion and that, that, that is there, right? But to me, there's also maybe some underlying fears maybe this person has surrounding the whole idea of commitment, okay? Justice is also a card of making a decision based off of what you're rational mind is telling you versus what your heart is saying, right? So the only real cups energy that we have here is the four of cups and the four of cups is not the greatest energy. It's, it's speaking about some type of emotional imbalance. Um, someone who's feeling discontent with the idea of, or they're just choosing to push the idea of commitment, um, away. Okay, so we will clarify this a little bit further, but I want to get your oracle cards out here so I can kind of look at everything as a whole. Pile number three, why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have holding on here and it says hung up, clinging, or even obsessing. 
why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have the mask, pretending, bluffing, and exaggerating. So it's like this person is maybe has something that they're not telling you. I feel like masking or hiding here. We also have falling apart, despair, hopeless, and sinking. The moon energy is something that is hidden. It's something that's concealed. Um, this can be a lot of suppressed emotions this person has too. Okay. Because if they're feeling in this energy of falling apart, despair, hopeless, and sinking, and holding on and obsessing and clinging, it makes me feel like this person still has feelings for someone else that they're keeping hidden here in this moon energy. Okay. The moon is, is the subconscious mind. Okay. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have elusive here. This is secretive energy. Okay, and funny, it's coming out right underneath the moon. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We're going to find out. <laughs> we are going to find out right now. We have commitment here. And then we have a rebel. Right? So someone who's kind of maybe activity or things that they're doing here. Okay, because this person is being elusive, secretive, I feel like maybe hiding something, pretending, wearing a mask, not being their most authentic self with you, right? Even if this person's like not straight out telling you, hey, you know what, I don't feel like we're a match or I don't feel like this, con this connection is giving me the fulfillment that I'm really looking for, right? To be honest about it. Um... Yeah, to me, in a way, it's like the rebel here, elusive commitment. Are they like avoiding commitment here? Is there someone else that this person is holding on to, clinging, or clinging on to, or obsessing over that they are falling apart about inside? Okay. So let's let's find out. Let's be nosy in this energy and see what spirit is willing to share with us. Spirit might say it's none of our business, then <laughs> we can try. Let's see. Um, okay, so what is this moon energy? Why is the moon here? We have the tower. Okay. Hmm. The tower could be something big. Okay, the tower is something that can create destruction, uh, upheaval, chaos. It can be a huge wake-up call for us, an epiphany. It could be that this person may be hiding something that they're kind of going through as well, something that's happening within their personal life that they're kind of hiding from you. It's, the tower is, is, is a, um, also a card of release, letting something go that maybe has been broken down so I mean this could even be like if this person had a breakup right a breakup that they still have suppressed feelings um over why is the moon here the knight of wands in reverse okay so this almost makes me feel like your person here is still feeling a little bit of upset over something that they may have gone through uh from their past okay it's it's kind of creating this person to act out of character and not being who they really are it's like making it to the point where they're not able to see or focus clearly on maybe the rest of what is kind of happening in their life because the four of cups can also be when someone is feeling sorry for themselves okay even if you kind of come out on a red carpet, when you're in the Four of Cups energy, you're not going to notice, right? And the way that I'll explain this to you guys is, let's just say that you have a, you really like someone, right? You really like them, you're in love with them, and then there's a breakup, right? And me and you, I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you, we're trying, I'm trying to get you out of the house to try to cheer you up. 
and you're feeling sad. You're feeling really sad because you went through this breakup. And I am trying to, you know, help you to meet someone that I know that would be perfect for you. But you're in your four of cups energy, which means you don't care. You're not focused on it. You don't want to think about something new and someone new. And you're like telling me like, Monique, stop. Like, I don't care right now. I don't care right now. Right? I'm focused on these other cups that are here that I've lost. Right? I don't care about your cousin that you feel like would be perfect for me. I don't want to hear it right now. So it's kind of like the four of cups is when we're feeling really emotionally just, uh, I don't want to really want to say depleted, but it's like we're on our way to the five of cups in which we are dealing with this energy of falling apart. So yeah, it makes me feel like there's something major that this person has gone through that really hurt them with the falling apart here, despair, hopeless thinking, something that someone or something that they are holding on to. And because of this, it's making them act out not like themselves, right? Maybe to the point where they are connecting with people um, on a level of desire, passion, things of that nature. The devil energy can also talk about addictions, um, codependency, attachment that this person might have. The devil is also a very restrictive energy, right? Something that we're holding on to or that we're attached to, right? And then we do have that energy of attachment here, right? So it makes me feel like this person is, is not being completely honest about something that they've gone through in their past. Maybe it was super painful. It could have been a past commitment, and they could be avoiding commitment, right? Being a little bit of a rebel here. Um, with strength energy here, it's, the strength card is also about having courage, right? Having courage and confidence to be able to be honest and be truthful and say what it is that you really feel. And so this person, because of whatever this is, it's like this person is not being their most authentic self with you, right? There's something that they're hiding here. Why is the moon energy here? Two of Swords, okay? The Two of Swords energy is when we are in denial. There's something we are refusing to see. And let's just say, by chance, if this person had a breakup with someone that they're still feeling really sad about, they could be refusing to acknowledge that that connection is over. Right? Refusing to see that it's over. Because the Two of Swords is when someone is choosing not to deal with something. They're choosing not to see it. Not to face truth, not to face reality, right? The Two of Swords is also feeling confused, which the moon energy brings in confusion, okay? The moon brings in confusion. It's clouded judgment. It's us not being able to see something clearly that's sitting at the back of our mind because the moon is the subconscious, right? So the Two of Swords is maybe there's some type of mental block this person has with the Two of Swords where it's kind of making them feel confused, stuck, stagnant. They're not able to progress and move forward because they don't have that clarity right now, right? So to me, it's kind of like this person is not in the best clear headspace. Um, let's see, why is the tower here? Seven of Pentacles. Um, this could have been something that this person was investing their time and energy into that was not, did not manifest in the way that they thought it was going to. Something they're still evaluating, reassessing here. Why is the tower here? Nine of Wands, which is the very guarded, wounded energy. Okay, with whatever that tower moment is, okay? Seven of Wands at the bottom, which means this person is also kind of putting up the defense, right? They're putting up the defense. There's wounded energy here. This person not is acting out of character for themselves, right? Clouded judgment. Um, and like I said, the Four of Cups is rejection. Like this person may be choosing because they've got all this stuff, right? All the stuff they're not bringing to the surface, they're not talking to you about. It could be masking things, right? Someone that they're attached to. Okay. Let's see what else am I seeing with this. Let's see why this person is feeling like they're falling apart. 
Why does Pile Three's person feel like they're falling apart? The High Priestess. The High Priestess is um, something that is being hidden, concealed again, right? So it's saying here, this person is keeping it a secret. This person is not revealing it, right? Why is the falling apart here? The Ten of Swords. This is pain. Okay? The Ten of Swords is a painful ending. This person, like Spirit is saying here, this person's hiding pain that they've gone through in their past. Okay? Not revealing it. Not talking about it. Okay? There's still attachment this person has to someone. Um, so yeah, to me, it's like looking at this energy here, <clears throat> like this person is not in a good place, not emotionally open and receptive to building a relationship, a commitment, right? We've got the four of cups, right? Like I said, you go through something painful. If I try to help you to show you, Hey, you know, you're going to be like, I don't want to hear you right now. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. I'm, I'm too busy feeling sad right now. You know, that's the four of cups, discontent, sad, feeling emotionally unfulfilled, imbalanced. Okay. <clears throat> Why is the four of cups here? Six of wands, ego. Okay. This person's ego is hurt. Okay. Ego is hurt. Yeah. It, to me, it's kind of like this person is thinking about themselves right now. You know? And I see, yes, this person has got some stuff that they need to heal. Right? But it could be that because of that, they're choosing to push you away. Not be open to your commitment here. Um, what else here? What is this person masking here? What is Pile Three's person masking? Nine of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse is basically when we need some time to ourself. Okay. Um, we could have also been someone in the Nine of Pentacles who has been single for a little bit, and we may have. Difficulty with being able to cultivate deep relationships with people. Maybe because we pushed people away so much that we even have forgotten how to, what it takes to actually build a healthy, meaningful relationship with someone. You know? So this is kind of like a need for taking a breather, taking like, you know, some time here. Um... Yeah. Okay. So let's look at our oracle here. So why won't pile number three's person fully commit to this connection? We have plastic. Okay. It says a surface level relationship, fake love messages, not a real love connection. Okay. So like I said, for some of you, the strength card, the king of wands, the devil energy, to me, is like this person is building this connection with you that may be based off of passion, desire, things of that nature, but this person's acting out of character, which means that you're not getting the real person, who they truly are, right? Um, yeah, superficial... Um, is what I'm getting with that superficial infatuation, right? Let's see. Why won't they fully commit to this connection? We have gossip here. It says gossiping about you, worried others will talk or heard rumors about you. We also have waiting here, and it says holding on to hope, not taking action, stand still, and delays. Why won't they fully commit? We have not budging. It says refusing to change, 
stubborn and inflexible and both stand in your ground. So let's just say you were the one who's saying, you know what? I want commitment. I want a relationship. And your person is like, no, I'm not ready. I don't want it. Right? You could also be someone who's kind of waiting, hoping this person is going to change. Right? Yeah, but to me, this rebel energy is almost like this person has a little bit of this wild side, that king of wands energy that is, and this person may even be someone who has a little bit of an ego too, with the six of wands and the king of wands and the knight of wands here, right? A little bit of an ego. Okay, so look at that. We've got habitual liar and it says constantly lying, can't hide in their lies anymore, their lies being exposed. And then we also have divorce and it says alimony, terminating a marriage, separation will be costly or a complicated relationship. So that may make sense for some of you. I mean, it, it could be that this person is someone who's gone through a really painful divorce, a separation, uh, something like that. It can also be that you and this person may have been married and they're not wanting to return to the relationship. Maybe this is talking about you, right? Your commitment here, because we do have wedding rings here as well, or maybe for some of you, this person is hiding that they were married or I don't know. This is like telling me that this person is, is hiding something with the elusive energy here. So is this person that you're connecting to, are they hiding that they're married, married and they're just having fun on the side or do they feel like your relationship with them, your, the idea of commitment is too complicated or here's another one. Are they someone who thinks about, marriage in a negative way where they automatically think that marriage is going to lead to divorce right separation could be costly what if i get involved with pile number three and it ends up not to go so good it's you know or even if you literally do have a complicated relationship with this person they're not putting forth serious effort towards it um can also be a situation here as well there was one thing i wanted to clarify here and I feel like it's the, the liar energy um yeah I feel like the liar energy and the the rebel here I want to clarify both of those okay so what is pile number three's person lying about what is pile number three's person lying about Wheel of Fortune. This is some type of uh, turning point or change in this person's life. Maybe they are someone who is going through a divorce. Um, maybe you could be going through a divorce with this person. This is cycles. This is patterns. This is, um, I don't know. Maybe like this person, the spirit saying here with the Wheel of Fortune is something, a cycle that keeps repeating itself. For some of you, this person could literally be, like spirit is saying here, a habitual liar. Right? They have a pattern of doing this or being this type of person. Why is habitual liar here? What are they lying about? Maybe the timing. Some of you, this person could be in the middle of a divorce and telling you that they're going to get divorced. They're going to get divorced. They're going to get divorced and all of that kind of stuff, right? We have the three of wands here. This person could be lying to you about what's going to happen in your future between the two of you. Right? Because the three of wands is about foresight, looking to the future, planning. So they could be lying about, you know, oh, let's wait a little while or let's... You know, I'm not ready to commit yet, or I'm going to commit when we do this or when we do that. It's something about the future. Okay. Let's see. Why is the habitual liar here? What are they lying about? Five of cups in reverse. This is the, the pain. Being over something from their past. The five of cups is a feeling of grief, sadness, loss, pain something they're holding here. And if this person is hiding it all under that moon energy, they could be lying about um, maybe being over it, right? Being over it, those feelings being resolved, pretending like they're okay and they're good and not over an ex-partner, but they're really not, you know? Yeah, I feel like the rebel energy. 
Spirit, tell us a little bit more about this rebel energy. How is pile number three's person a rebel? How are they a rebel? The Queen of Wands. Again, this very passionate person. Passionate person. You know, which, like I said, it could be something that's very intense between the two of you. But to me, this there's this feeling, this need to just be free, discover, explore, you know, just kind of allow this energy to just lead them. Like they're not really looking for this commitment. Like I said, for somebody with the plastic energy here, service, love, a relationship, fake love messages, not a real love connection. It's like this person, because there is something here that this person is holding on to, they're not being their genuine self with you. Right? They're still feeling this need to just be out because until they really address this within themselves, you know, that nine of pentacles, like I said, in reverse can be when we have, we need to learn how to foster meaningful relationships with people. And if this person continues to kind of just reject and push people away with that four of cups, it doesn't matter. Like I said, if you appear on a red carpet or, you know, like this person is just going to continue to not be interested because they're discontent with their own with their own life or themselves right now with things that they need to address within themselves. So to me it's like this need to just kind of be free and explore with this energy of the rebel and just kind of they feel stressed out. They could be doing it because of stress with the 10 of wands, they could be feeling overwhelmed, they're carrying a lot of burdens, a lot of baggage from this person's past. So instead of kind of facing it, like I said with the two of swords, this is when we're keeping ourselves blinded to the truth. We're ignoring something. We're choosing not to acknowledge it, right? This, this is here. And this person, instead of facing it, they're choosing to, I'm just going to go out and do what I want and be where I want and do other things and focus on other passions in my life and not really give attention and time into building a meaningful connection with someone because they still have this baggage that they haven't really addressed. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here for you. Pile number three. I hope this was helpful for you guys and I will see you in the next reading.